In the 1900s, an English physician named William Henry discovered that the amount of gas dissolved in a liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas above it. He used the formula P equals KC, where P is the partial pressure of the gas above the liquid, K is known as Henry's constant, and C is the concentration of gas in the solution. So let's imagine we have a closed container with a liquid in it. We inject gas molecules into the air above it. As we increase the concentration of the gas above the liquid, more of the molecules will enter the solution. We can see this effect in overpressurization. Instead of a container with liquid in it, let's use the alveoli of a patient that we're about to induce with sevoflurane as our example. And let's say for this procedure, our initial goal is an end tidal concentration of 2% sevo before the surgeon starts. Right now, there is no sevoflurane in the patient. As we cut on the dial, sevoflurane will enter the alveoli and begin to cross into the alveolar capillaries. If we want to speed things up though, we can crank the dial way up. So let's turn it to 6%. As more sevo molecules flood into the alveoli, they have a higher partial pressure, which as Dr. Henry stated, will increase the amount of sevoflurane going into solution in the capillary. So Henry's law explains how overpressurization, or the delivery of a higher concentration of inhaled anesthetic than the desired endpoint, can speed up the uptake of the anesthetic.